Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. As you enter, please slide across the seat to allow room for those who may follow. And please be sure your hands and legs are away from open doors. Thank you. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Scott. And his lovely wife, Dawn. Happy New Year, everybody. Yes, Happy New Year. It's been a, it's been a while since we did a, did a show. We had a very busy holiday season. We did. It, it was busy, probably not in ways that we would have cared for it to be busy. I wasn't going to go that way with all this, but That's okay. <laughs> trust me, if but I you could... know what we it's real life. It, it is. happens. You know, it is. people get sick and need surgeries and just busy, busy life. Just it happens things. to everybody, it happens to us, and it, right. it is what it is. So Lots here we are. Things. Here we are. We're back. We're, we're on the men. We uh, did all the the um, what do you call it? superstition type things for New Year's. We stayed up. We did till midnight, which is crazy um, for us, by the way. <laughs> considering we're uh, to bed right after Jeopardy kind of people. <laughs> Eight p.m. <laughs> yep, we stayed up. We uh, held our money. We made. We heard you're supposed to hold paper money for wealth. We heard you're supposed to hold silver money for right, wealth. Right. So we we did one of each. We heard you're supposed to open the back door to let in the new year, open the front door to let out the old year. So we did that. We did that. Then we heard a new one. You found this one out. I'm glad we didn't know you knew about this one or else I was going to be doing this today. Exactly. We heard a new one. You're not supposed to do laundry on New Year's Day. And it's supposed to be bad luck to do laundry on New Year's Day. Never heard that. But just in case, nobody in this household is doing laundry today. Nope. We're not so, folding anything that's dry. Nope. We're just letting it go. Off the record, I left a shirt in there. Just leave it. Yesterday. I didn't touch it. I'm not pulling just it out. Just leave it. It's just going to stay in there. <laughs> exactly. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I said, we're doing all the superstitions. So there you have it. So just in case. It was 2022 was a rough year for the Scott family oh. and our extended family. So we're just letting it go. <laughs> 2022. You can just stay. That's right. So we're looking forward to a better 2023. That's right. Na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> 2022. <laughs> so here uh, we are. Here we are. So you came up with a good idea to kick off 2022, 2023 with, I'm going to be doing that a lot. It's a good thing we don't write many checks anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> what was your idea for a show topic on this, we'll just say the beginning of January, 2023? Well, everybody makes... New Year's resolutions. Right. They, you know, well, I'm going to get in shape. I'm going to join a gym or I'm going to go back to the gym. We've already been to the gym and back today. No, I made that all up. (laughs) Is our gym even open today? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. The only thing I we usually see about the gym is the fee for the gym membership on the statement <laughs> right. every year, every month. So. That's right. But we're going to go. We will. We're going to go. <laughs> so we need to go. Oh, you have no idea. <sighs> well, you probably have an idea. Oh, I definitely have an idea. We look at each other every day. <laughs> so, <laughs> I meant them, not you. I know you know. We need to go. <laughs> but um, yes, we need to go. So we can walk around a theme park. <laughs> exactly. With purpose. Exactly. So... I thought, well, you know, we people make all kinds of, you know, wonderful resolutions. We're going to go to the gym. We're going to get financially fit. We're going to be kinder. We're going to do kind things for other people. All kinds of wonderful resolutions and right. things. So I thought it would be fun to see, like, maybe what are your listeners' Disney resolutions for the coming year? I love this. So I thought, what would it be? What would maybe our Disney resolutions be for the right. coming year? So one of the resolutions for this year, for the podcast, one, we're going to be back on schedule. That's right. The schedule will hopefully be shows at least every other Friday and bonus shows other than that. Awesome. We were doing the two a week and I just, that was kind of a a little more anxiety inducing on me to, because <laughs> once you miss one, then you miss another. That's, we're, good, we're done with that. So yeah, back on schedule. Back on schedule. So besides the music trivia, I'm sure we'll go out to Castaway Key. Why wouldn't we go out to Castaway Key? Exactly. You'll get to see Tim in a Speedo. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Do not scare your listeners away. <laughs> nobody, don't visualize that. Do, Bring your don't, phones. Don't visualize that. No, nobody needs to see that. Nobody needs to see it. But no, if you go, no. we can't guarantee what you're going to no. see. But we'll be at the family beach. We will. We will. Yes. Serenity Bay, that was just not our vibe. It wasn't. No, we talked about that on the show, but it was just uh, it was very nice, but just was not not our thing. We really, really love the family beach. We do. Who knew? 
Who knew? Right. We were, I mean, for years and years when we had children, we just couldn't wait to get to Serenity Bay. <laughs> <laughs> and then who knew? We were family beach people all along. Exactly. So exactly. it's all good. No right. matter where you're, Castaway Key is the place to be. It is. So. And I will say the pricing for the cruise, since it's like the week right after Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. was very good. Absolutely it was. For a wish cruise. So mm-hmm. keep that in mind. If you want any kind of quotes or anything, look us up over Resort Loop Travel. That's right. Tim at ResortLoopTravel.com. That's right. Anyway, that's enough of the sales pitch. All right. So let's get on with what would your Disney. It doesn't have to be Disney Cruise. It could be any type of Disney. It doesn't have to be the parks. It doesn't right. have to be anything. Restaurants or any type of maybe even Disney decor in your own home. Ooh. What would be your Disney resolution? Oh. What would it be? So mine is, I'll start. Please. I didn't even ask you if you want no, to No, 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 please don't, because I need some time to think. I don't know, is this going to be this going to be this wide? Yeah, it could be wide anything. Reaching. Because, I mean, you know, we're not a family that can go to Disney. Like, we try to go to Disney as often as possible, but sometimes there's years when we just can't make it. The years when Stephen played ball, you right. know, we traveled a lot with his travel ball team. So there were years that we just couldn't make it to Disney. Um, right. And every once in a while, we'd yeah. look at like maybe an occasional, you know, we'd be daydreaming, looking at like a weekend trip. Right. And flights don't line up. Right, exactly. And especially now, flights are, you know, kind of pricey. They're very pricey You can't just now. zip down for Mm-mm. on the cheap and then get, you know, right. then you don't have Magical Express to zip you over there, you know, for no right. charge. So it's right. a little added expenses going in. Exactly. And I really miss the um, passes where they could buy, like, 10-day passes that never expire. I miss that a lot. Oh, we the listeners on the show, that. I, I ranted for... Years after they took away their no expiration tickets. I miss that a lot because we could get a couple trips out of that. Absolutely. So. And they knew you were coming back. So I'm not sure, you know, I know they want to sell more tickets, but. I know. That's another rant I've been on. I know. But anyway, so mine would be, I mean, your listeners know if you've listened for a while that I have vertigo issues that kind of come and go. And mine has been pretty good i had um it's been a year it's the last time i had vertigo issues was last um december when we went right yeah so it's been a year so i took you out for a whole day and you weren't feeling good for a couple of those yeah so i've been pretty good for a year now thankfully but mine would be we've never done um avatar flight of passage because of the vertigo um, but mine would be to try some of those rides that would possibly be vertigo inducing for me oh um maybe at the end of the day, you know, hop in line or um, at the end of the day for some of those rides and give it a try. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, like I said, my vertigo could disappear. Over, like it could be induced at that point in time. Right, right. It could disappear overnight. Could last three days. I never know. Have you seen so any video a of the Tron big, coaster that's coming out? I have not. Ooh. I try not to look at stuff like that because when I experience Disney stuff, I like to experience it firsthand. I don't oh, I like concur. to look... I'm kind of forced see. to look at some stuff. Yeah, I know you are. I'm not. But uh, yeah, go ahead. I'm so, sorry. and same with like, I want to do Remy again. Right. Um, I I think I was already in the middle of a Vertigo episode. So I think if I wasn't, I think I would do better with Remy um, and experience that I was surprised how well again. you did with Remy. I did. Yeah. That, that ride took me out for the rest of the day. Right. But I was great the next day then. Mm-hmm. I think that was the last day of my Vertigo episode. So I was good at the rest of the yes. trip after that but um i would like to try remy again that was so cute i love that ride <laughs> so i would like to try some things that i know could possibly cause me to have a vertigo episode so that would be a new year's resolution I for me that. try some of those things that i avoid because of that and some of my old favorites that i don't do anymore because of my now vertigo stuff. Mm-hmm. So like Everest, I don't do anymore because of vertigo. That could have caused the vertigo. I remember. <laughs> remember we used to do yeah. it twice. Oh, we used to do it way more than twice. <laughs> we used to get their first thing and the kids would like, yeah, let's do this. And we'd hop in line and we'd get a fast pass and then we'd hop in line and do it two, three times. And then we use our fast pass and do it a fourth time. <laughs> and we were good. And the kids loved it. And then, you know, I think we did it one time. We had a fast pass. We did it one time, and then we did our fast pass again. Right. And oh my gosh, yeah. I was done. I was yeah. like, "Holy could, moly, what happened to me?" I can right. do one, but I don't I'm think I can old. do two now. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even sure I could do one. But I would like to maybe give it a try. Absolutely. But I think it would have to be a trip where we were there for like two weeks, and I could really space the stuff out. Yeah, where if you miss a day, you know, right? You'll feel like you're 
Right. I could try that again. <clears throat> Wasting so. a bunch of time. I do really like Pop Century. Love the Skyliner. Mm -hmm. um, yep. The last couple times we stayed, when we stayed with my mom and my sister, and we stayed at Old Key West and had the patio and had the living room when we stayed at the two bedroom. And oh my goodness, that was a lovely resort. It was. It had the golf, the golf yes, hole behind her. Yes, it was beautiful place, there. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't mind staying there again. Mm -hmm. Um, when we win the lottery, I would love to try Riviera. <laughs> I know. I know. So that would be fabulous. It's a resort I want to try. I'm not sure I love, love it, but I'd have to stay there for a night and see. I I think we'd have to stay there a couple nights. You have to yes, get the, yes. the feel of it. You right. know, it has to be more than a night or two. Right. So to really get the feel of it. Um, so I don't know. I mean, it's beautiful. I love. We love Topolinos. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Topolinos. My mouth just waters thinking of that. <laughs> right. So, but yeah, I think definitely in my lifetime, I would definitely like to stay one night at every single resort would be a bucket list item for me, for sure. On one trip or just a... Oh, over no, not on one trip. <laughs> no, just over the... I mean, we've already stayed at so many. Yes, of course. I would definitely like to... But then most of the ones we've stayed the at... the rest. Most of the ones we've stayed at have now redone their rooms. I know. Like the Polynesian's been all done. Mm -hmm. Contemporary's been redone. Although I don't really, I'm not a fan of that contemporary redo. I'm really exactly. not. Exactly. So, uh, although I think I did my good deed for the year, I should get bonus points. I was at the dentist last week and mm -hmm. he was getting ready to go on his trip. Oh, okay. Um, I think it was just a friend that was kind of helping them out planning their trip that they'd been to Disney World like one other time or two right. times or right. something. And, um, not that, you know, someone who's been there once or twice doesn't have good advice, well, of but course. definitely need to point them in the direction of someone who has been there multiple times um, because they had them staying at a resort. And um, my dentist is not a patient person when it comes to waiting in line for transportation Oh, and had them staying at a resort that only uses buses. Oh, what and resort was it? Port Orleans. Okay. French Quarter. Okay. And I said, well, that's a very lovely resort. I think that you would really like that. I said, yeah. but have you considered a different moderate Caribbean beach and using the Skyliner? And there he was go. like, wait, what's that? It's, there you go. <laughs> and so he was definitely going to get his reservations changed to there. And I said, just make sure that you request a building that's close to the Skyliner because it's an enormous resort. So yeah. that you Port Orleans are. is beautiful, and you do have the boat oh, yes. option to Disney Springs. But I mean, how many times are you going to go to Disney Springs versus a park? Exactly. So no, they're park people. Yeah, I mean, they've been to Disney World multiple times, but um, they've they stayed on the a monorail resort because they had little little ones at the time, mm -hmm. and um, his mother in law would always be the one to volunteer to take the babies back for the nap in there the you afternoon. Go. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but now they're older and they don't really need to do that. And they thought, well, we'll save a little bit of money and stay at a moderate this time, yeah. and which is a great. And I said, but you definitely, if you're going to do that, stay at the Caribbean beach and use the Skyliner. Right. And the hygienist that I had, she'd been to Disney a couple of times and they stayed at Pop and used the Skyliner. And she was telling him all about it. And she, he was like, why am I not hearing this from you? Why aren't you telling me these things? <laughs> <laughs> So I think I swayed him to change his reservations. That sounds bit. like it. He's like, take, get her number off that chart. He's like, I need to have my wife call her. <laughs> and I'm like, call away. Nothing I like better than discussing Disney with somebody new. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. So, but anyway, so that would be my new year's resolution is to try some, something new. And I, we're not sure um, when we're going to go down for our cruise. Um, if we're going to go down a couple days early. True. We'll, we, we'll keep everybody know, posted on that. Yeah, we're not sure. But um, I imagine we'll be down there at least a day early. I would oh, oh, well, we have to be oh, there. We should be there a day early. Well, yeah, for sure. But um, we weren't sure if we were going to go an extra day early and maybe try to do one park or something. Right. But if we do, I'm going to try to do one. Maybe, I don't know, before the cruise, if I want to do a vertigo inducing <laughs> ride. But I might. You uh, never know. We could always try it out up at Cedar Point. Ugh, no. <laughs> no. Ugh, I know those coasters I would are just not scary. To, I, I mean, you could not pay me enough money. The only, I think the only way you would get me to Cedar Point is if you say you have won a free trip, unlimited tickets, unlimited resort stay, totally paid for trip to Disney World after you went to Cedar Point. Right. That is the only way you'd get me there. Not that it's not a great park. It is just not for our age set. No, no. It's a fantastic coaster park, 
It is for people with teenagers. <laughs> That's right. For people with a death wish, it's a fantastic book. <laughs> <laughs> Not for people our age. No. What's yours? My resolution. I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure we can't do this this year. But I feel at some point we need to go to Disneyland. Oh, yeah. I just think we, we need we to go where it all started. It. I know. Again, it's a matter of time. The mm-hmm. time off. And that's also a matter of the flights. Yeah, for sure. Even, even more so than Florida. Yeah. Disneyland, I think, is going to have to be. I mean, we talk about it all the time. About I should say all the time. We talk about it frequently about when at least I'm retired, you're retired, whatever right. is, um, I don't know. I go back and forth the whole, you know, getting a camper kind of thing. Right. I think that sounds like a great idea until I think about the actual camping part of it. Right. <laughs> I don't know that I want to do that. Yes. But at the same time, I don't really want to stay in hotels either other than like, Disney World hotels because mm-hmm. we've stayed in them so frequently and we know that they're clean and we know that they, right. they have really high standards. And in order to get that same high standard in other hotels, you have to stay in hotels that are very expensive and that really gets expensive. Yes. And so that's why then the camper thing appeals to me mm-hmm. because then you have your own bed and your own bathroom and right. your own things around you. Mm-hmm. But then we, over this past summer, we were with some friends that have a camper and they invited us over for the evening. Yes. And that was really, really fun. Yes. And, you know, we cooked out with them and yes. um, it was very nice that they had their own bathroom and their mm-hmm. own stuff around them. And that was great. But then I looked around and looked at all the setup that they have to do and all yeah. the tear down that they have to do. And right. I'm like, yeah, that does not appeal to me whatsoever. Yeah. And even once you get the... Uh- by your unit, it's still a, you know, a pretty expensive way to travel. Oh, absolutely. All the gas involved and oh, for insurance. Sure. Yeah, and then you have to have a special vehicle to tow. Right. Because I don't think I would want a drivable unit because, you know, when you have a drivable unit, if you want to go do something in the area, you have to take your whole thing with you. Right. You can't just take, like, the truck or whatever you have. Unless you're towing it. Right. Then you're towing, you're towing something anyway. Right. So. There's a lot of things to consider. Exactly. So I don't know. Right. I, I, I'm not sure. I don't, I definitely wouldn't want something as large as what they have. They have, theirs is huge. Oh no. Yeah. Theirs is nice. So I would just want something that we just have our own bathroom and a place to sleep, but I don't know. Right. I come with a lot of stuff <laughs> and I don't know that something that is small, like what I would want right. would contain all my stuff. Exactly. So I don't know. And then if we're driving and staying in hotels and you have to have a you know, nice, comfortable vehicle to do all that. And you can't do it in a tiny car. Right. There's a whole bunch of th- things to involve. So I know but I would, yeah. I wouldn't, they bought theirs new. I would not buy anything new because right. I would want to sell it when I am done seeing this country <laughs> because then I would be done seeing this country and I would want to see other places. Right. So I don't know. Let's just get on a cruise ship and see other places and call it done. <laughs> well, then there's that. Everything's with you. <laughs> But anyway, I would so I would really like to see Disneyland at some point. That's a resolution at some point. I don't think it'll be 2023. No, definitely but not. Again, it's only January 1. Anything can happen. This is right. It's brand new year. Brand new Lots year. Lots of possibilities. We let the air out. We were holding money, as we said. That's right. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. That's Maybe we'll right. win the lottery. That's that right. Sort of requires us to play the lottery. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite thing is saying the next day, oh, we forgot to play the lottery last night. <laughs> We say that a lot. We do. Was that last night? <laughs> oh, rats. <laughs> oh, wow. We'll oh, well. see. But anyway. So any other resolutions you have? Uh, well, Disney resolutions, I don't think so. I'll go with my... I'm going to add another one. Okay. It's trying a, some different restaurant at Disney World. Yes. It's tough because we always have our favorites. I know. But trying Topolino's last year, man. That was well, one of the best true. things we ever did. That is true. I, we cannot hype Topolino's enough. <laughs> we cannot. Is there another another restaurant down there you think you'd like to try? I don't. Are there are there new ones down there that we haven't that I don't know about. Well, there's always a ton of Disney Springs. You know, there's a oh, ton of restaurants yeah. there. We don't ever think about there. I mean, you do. I don't. Right. Right. So I don't. Maybe we need to go back to some of our old favorites that we haven't tried in a long time. True. 
Um, we haven't been to Liberty Tree Tavern in a long time. It's been it's been a few years for that the one. The only problem with that is a lot of times we go in the summertime and their food's so heavy there because it's you know the mid Americana type right, food and right. oof, it's heavy. Basically like Thanksgiving dinner. I know, but I don't want to have a Thanksgiving dinner <laughs> and then go out in ninety five degree heat either. Right. That's that's rough. But the, it's good food. It is good. So I don't know. We'll see. And I've always heard good things about Olivia's at Old Key West. We've never tried there. We have to try there sometime. We could try that. I don't know. I If we could get into Topolino's again, I would go back there in a heartbeat. <laughs> Holy moly. That was just the best. I honestly, Pete, can't think of another meal I've had that was better than Topolino's. Right. But yeah, we should try a different restaurant when we go in November. So try to make plans for that. Absolutely. So, all right. And let us know what your Disney resolution is. Yes. Go over to Looper Nation Live over at Facebook. We'll post the show there. Put under there. Where would you go? What would you do? What's your Disney resolution? I didn't even get to Alani. Yeah. I have enough trouble getting to uh, Anaheim. It's going to be much harder to get to Honolulu. <laughs> That's right. Koalina. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. Everybody, thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Scott. Once again, joined by... His lovely wife, Dawn. You can join, like I said, join us over at our Facebook page, Looper Nation Live, <laughs> over at Facebook. It's been a while. And always Facebook, Twitter, the website, resortloop.com. Everybody, you've been listening to the Gateway to the Magic. See you, everybody. Vacation memories will stay with you and your family for a lifetime. The Resort Loop Travel Group was created with this in mind. Our fee-free services will relieve you of the stress and confusion of finding and booking the best vacation at the best price. After booking, we will continue to monitor for ways to save you even more on your vacation. We will check for any upcoming packages and discounts to save you as many vacation dollars as possible. Resort Loop Travel Group. 